All right, you're watching World Without Rule Law. Welcome to the Southern Virginia Homestead. This area here, you can see my the pots with my peppers in them, my hot peppers. And again, I put those up here. This is where I grew everything last year, but I know I said this before in my other video, but they cross-pollinated with sweet peppers, so I separated them. The new garden area down below, which is down in that fenced area, that has all my sweet peppers. The hot peppers are up here. This whole area from there, pretty much back to, you can see where the chips meet the grass there. I think, I think you can. This area, I've got it half chipped. Now it was chipped last year, and I got a lot of chips this year. So I'm refilling it up, and I'm going to re-chip all the way down pretty much to where that far bank, I know you can't see it, there's like a little berm there. Right there where that berm meets the grass. And beyond that I got some fruit trees over there. So I'm going to bring that up and I'm going to do this whole area with chips. And that is going to be in preparation for a perennial food forest. I don't know if any of you watch the gardening channel with James Priccioni. He's in New Jersey and he does, his whole yard is a perennial food for us. And it's pretty inspiring. And you know what happens is every year it comes back more abundant than the year before and it's set up in such a way where it's really very little work. And that's kind of what I'm shooting for in this area and I know that's a long term plan. It's a few years out. My goal for this year is to get the wood chips spread and with any luck, maybe get the fence up. And then from there, I'm going to just let it sit. And uh, I have some fruit. I'm propagating berries. As I said in a different video, I'm going to put a couple of those in there along the fence line. I've already got some over there. So I got some berries here. I got another plant right over there to the left of the dog's head. And I put a couple grapes in over here, but it looks like they didn't make it. And I got them at tractor supply. They're half dead and they were on clearance. I got them for a couple bucks a piece. Figured I'd try and they had a little bit of green on them. They didn't survive the transplant. Um, but this whole area over here, I have some cantaloupe, some watermelon, and some cucumbers. And so, I'm going to grow in this area, you know, prior to it being ready for the food forest. And a couple of the things, a few of the things that take a long time to get established, such as the berries and fruit trees, I'm going to go ahead and put them in probably almost right away when I get the chips spread out. I've got a couple of, I identified one in the back. I believe it was a peach tree that, you know, was a volunteer. And I'm going to kind of watch that. I've mulched around it and put a little fence section around it just to keep it from getting eaten by deer or from running over with the mower. And I'm going to see if I can 100% identify that by fall. If I can, that's going to come up here. And maybe I can find some fruit trees to put up here. A few. I don't want to put too many, but I'm going to I'm going to concentrate more on berries. I want to get some blueberries and raspberries and blackberries. So these one, two behind me that I just showed you are black raspberries. And I really like those. So we're going to go from there. But uh, well, just to look at what's coming up for the future of the Southern Virginia homestead. And those fruit trees over there, there's three right there, are plum, there's a peach, two peach. They set fruit last year. The peaches didn't, but the, those two peaches, but the plums did. They never really got ripe. These two peach trees here gave me a ton of peaches. 
that weren't good and they really we froze a lot of them and they ended up really being good so going forward in the permaculture vein you know we're concentrating on berries fruits might try a fig tree too i'm not sure if i'm in the right temperate for that but i think i'm going to try one and uh going to try to concentrate on things that will yield year after year without, you know, having to be replanted and redone all the time. And so that's just where we're going with that. And I just want to show it to you and give you a little prelude of that. Thanks for watching. God bless you.